Hey guys, Shibli182 here, and welcome to week 10 on the House of Four. I just got back from a concert in Toronto, so I'm kind of rushing this here. I completely forgot today was my day. I actually let my girlfriend pick out the film that I'm going to review today, um, and that's 2004's Saw. Um, now, I've never been one to defend this movie and say it's scary. I've never been one to defend this movie and say it's frightening or suspenseful in any way whatsoever. Um, but what I will give this movie is that the first time I saw it, it entertained me. Uh, the twists in it, while well, the twist in it at the end when the dead body ends up being Jigsaw and he gets up off the floor, that blew me away the first time I saw this. Um, and it just gives me that sort of nostalgic value that I'll never forget the first time I saw this film and that it did that for me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way, that I do not think this film is scary, I do not think it's suspenseful. Um, I just enjoy it for what it is, I enjoy the traps, and I enjoyed the twist the first time I saw it because I never saw it coming. So yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So Saw was directed by uh, James Wan, and it was written by James Wan and Lee Whannell, um, and it stars Carrie Ells as Dr. Gordon and Lee Whannell um, as Adam. Uh, you have Danny Glover, who plays Detective Tapp, um, Shawnee Smith plays one of Jigsaw's surviving victims, Amanda, and you have Tobin Bell, who plays Jigsaw himself. Um, the movie starts off with, off with Adam and Dr. Uh, Gordon, who have been chained on opposite sides of a bathroom, and uh, with a dead body in the middle, of course, we all know that with a tape recorder. And so they listen to the tape recorder and they find out that they're going to have to play this game to survive. If they want to leave this bathroom, they're going to have to follow the rules and play this game. And also that Dr. Gordon's wife and daughter have been kidnapped. Um, and if he wants to see them alive and have them not be murdered, he's going to follow the rules and do everything he's told. Um, so the, the basic storyline of the movie is them trying to, in ways, outsmart each other, in ways, help each other to get out of this situation that they're in. They're completely fucked. They're com chained to a pole, let's say. It's like a pipe or something. A and there's nothing. They got these saws that are dull as shit and will not cut through the chain. Um, and the only other thing in this room is a camera and a dead body in the middle of the floor. So while all this is going on and they're trying to find their way out of the, the bathroom or whatever, there's also kind of a backstory where you have you find out that Dr. Gordon um, was originally a suspect in the Jigsaw killings because one of his pens from his uh, doctor's office with his name and everything on it had been found at one of uh, the Jigsaw crime scenes. Um, so detective, it just kind of shows you Detective Tapp's investigation, him questioning Dr. Gordon and stuff like that. And it keeps going back and forth between that and these guys being locked in the room. And it's slowly revealing more and more about Jigsaw right up until the very end where you realize Jigsaw has been the dead body laying on the floor the whole movie. Um, I don't want to give too much of the story away because these are, in all honesty, confusing as hell. You have to sit down and watch these movies over and over to, to truly get everything out of it. So I don't want to sit here and try to explain it all. I just want to give you the basic premise of it. And if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth a watch. Saw and Saw 2, in my opinion, are the better films in the franchise. 3, 4, 5 were uh, utter crap, in my opinion. And 6 was all right. I'll give it that. Um, but... I'm, I'm truly excited for Saw 7 just because of the fact that I'm hearing uh, Carrie Elves signed on, they finished filming, and uh, he reprised his role as Dr. Gordon. So that has interested me. I want to see what they're going to do with that. I personally feel that he's going to be the guy that's been performing all the medical tasks for Jigsaw or whatever, because we all know Jigsaw's old, and uh, there's no way he was able to do some of the medical stuff that was done. And I just have a, a feeling that it's been Dr. Gordon all along, and that's what we're going to find out in the hopeful final installment of the Fra Sa Fa Saw franchise. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm just trying to quickly get through this review today. Um, if you haven't seen Saw, definitely check it out. It's got some sweet twists and some sweet uh, gore. Um, it's not scary. It's not suspens <laughs> suspenseful. There's a cool scene where Dr. Gordon cuts his foot off. Um, this is the uncut edition, so I don't really remember the theatrical version. I don't even think I saw this in the theaters. I'm pretty sure the first time I saw this it was on pay-per-view. Um, so I don't know what version I saw first. It was a long time ago. But yeah, if you haven't seen Saw, definitely check it out. I hope this review wasn't shit. Like I said, I've been trying to get through it. Now I'm just repeating myself. So yeah, um, I bought this for like maybe 10 bucks. I think. It's got quite a bit of features on it. Um, there's Dr. Gordon on the back. Um, it's got actually the original short film, uh, which they used to uh, promote this idea of the full-length motion picture. And it's got a cool little gel packet here with blood and shit in it. Um, there's two discs. I don't know. My camera's fucking up right now. You got disc one there, and then this flips over. And discs, disc two special features and shit is on the other side. Um, but yeah, so I kind of 
when I saw this edition, this was the one I was going to get if I was going to buy any edition I saw. I do own all the Saw films, but all the other versions I have are just, you know, your bare bones editions. I didn't get any special editions, except for maybe Saw 2, I think. But yeah, this is the the gel pack. Um, and like I said, I didn't want to actually say too much about the storyline of the film, guys, because everyone's seen Saw. I just wanted to give you my personal opinion on it. That, yes, I agree, it is not a scary film, um, but it's entertaining for what it is, and... Uh, that's just what I think about it. You can disagree if you want. That's why we do this. So hold it backwards. That's why we do this. Um, everybody have an awesome day, and I hope this wasn't crap. Um, sorry if it was. Talk to you later.